Hello, my name is Kyle McCrone. I'm here with Wyatt Mullen. It's Thursday, December 7th, 2023, and you're listening to another episode of Cascadia Mountain Weather. So the last week has brought some absolutely wild weather with huge mountain snowfall, wind, and rain. And today we're going to start the episode by looking back at what happened over the last week. Yeah, so we started out at last weekend with quite a bit of snow in the mountains. Places saw 30 to even 40 inches of snow. Um, the passes picked up about 30. Mount Baker picked up about 30 as well. Um, some places were kind of in that 40, even five feet range. So a ton of snow and then it started raining. Um, so this is the seven day precipitation um, looking over Washington state. And we can see that some areas picked up upwards of 20 inches of rain, um, especially the higher terrain kind of around Glacier Peak. Um, near Mount Rainier as well, um, kind of near the passes and stuff like that. So a bunch of rain, lowlands saw anywhere from four to five to six to 10 inches as well. So um, it's been wildly wet. We can see these are the actual measured values um, in the last, uh, this is kind of the last seven days since the start of the month. So lots of areas in that five to 10 inch range in the mountains where there frequently aren't stations picked up even more. This is the uh, kind of overall snowpack percentage compared to median at, at a specific date. Um, you know, it kind of just combines different elevations. So it's more of a general reference, not like super precise. And this is November 29th. So about eight days ago before this big storm started, you can see before the storm, we were pretty low for this time of year, although it was very early in the year, we're hovering generally around 50% of median snowpack. Now let's advance. This is at kind of the peak of the storm right before the snow started to turn to rain. And we actually had almost caught up very close to average just from like a few days of heavy snow, which was really awesome. Let's advance a few more days. Then we came back down with a little bit of rain. Well, a lot of rain. And you can see that we're still actually above where we were before the whole start of the storm. And that's a week later. So compared to the median on December 6th, now we're anywhere from the 50 to 70% range, generally a little bit higher on the east side. So, you know, it was a wild storm, but it's great to see that we actually came out net positive in most places. So this is just a reminder that, you know, it's really early season and we can track the progress. This is easy pass which is high elevation North Cascades, about 5,200 feet. It's probably the snowiest site in the whole Snowtail database in the U.S. with an average median snow water equivalent of 100 inches. That's an incredible amount of water in the snowpack. So snow water equivalent is if you took the snow in and, and a column and you melted it, how much water would it be? And uh, we briefly like got close to kind of uh, median for our day. And we dropped a little bit since then, but you can see that the rain actually didn't pull us backwards too much there. Next slide. Okay, so this is the weather for the Paradise uh, NWAC station at 5,400 feet. And the main thing to note is that over a seven day period, we got about 14 inches of precipitation. Um, you know, maybe half of that fell snow, maybe a little more. And then uh, if we look at Baker, can you hold bigger what? Yeah, so Baker uh, got similarly a lot of snow. All right. Baker got 11 inches of precipitation about, uh, probably a mixture of snow and rain also. Uh, next, we're going to look at the like different snow depth graphs. Uh, this is Paradise and Camp Muir. So one thing to know is that Camp Muir actually never got above freezing. So that means that above... 7, 8K got an incredible amount of snow on the volcanoes. The National Weather Service point forecasts were throwing out ridiculous things like five feet of snow over a 24-hour period. And it's not really possible to like verify that, but we can be assured that this storm was really good for filling in the glaciers and our upper elevations. Now, looking down, let's look at snow depth. So this is going from last Wednesday to now. We started out in the mid-20s, kind of 21 inches. And at Paradise, it got all the way up to about 57 inches. So even just Paradise, in terms of snow depth, you know, increased by almost 40 inches, which incre is incredible in like two days. And then we began a slow descent back uh, down to around 40, 
um, 35 and now it's gone back up by another 10 inches or so in the last day, 12 inches. So overall, like, you know, our snow depth is almost double where it was eight days ago. So that's a big improvement. Even at Snoqualmie Pass, where you can see the temperatures for much of the duration were up around uh, freezing or above freezing, we actually started the storm with no snowpack, and now we do have a snowpack. So let's look at the snow depth down here. So at the start of the storm, basically nothing. We peaked at about maybe two feet of snow at Snoqualmie Pass and have since dropped down to about 10 inches, but still much better than where we started. So now we're gonna take a deeper dive into the actual uh, data around like temperatures, precipitations to water equivalent. This is where we get really nerdy. So right now we're looking at the Snowtail site for Alawi Meadows. This is just south of Snoqualmie Pass at an elevation of 4,000 feet. And there's different data points for each of the last eight or nine days. About eight days ago, we had a snow water equivalent of 2.8 inches. That's really, really not much, you know? That's 2.8 inches of water and uh, a snow depth of five inches, all right? Typical at that point was 5.2. That was the median. So we were at 54% normal. And then uh, over the next few days, we increased our snow water equivalent dramatically all the way to 7.8 inches, um, which was 90% of median. And the snow depth was 24, 19 inches. But uh, now we've come back down to 6.5. I want to point a few things out. Notice between the th the fourth and the fifth, we went from 7.5 to 7.88 inches of snow water equivalent. But during the same period, the snow depth decreased from 24 to 19. And the average temperature was 36 to 43 degrees, like really warm. So you might be wondering, you know, how did that happen? And that's right there is the magic of the PNW snowpack. Even when it's raining, if we have fresh snow there, the water can get absorbed into the snowpack and freeze into it and actually add to our overall base and depth. Maybe not depth, but it'll add to that snow water equivalent, which will create the, a stronger snowpack. It'll last longer in the spring. So it's really interesting to see how the rain, a little bit of rain, although it makes for bad skiing in the moment, can actually like add to the thickness and the overall mass of our snowpack. Cool. So now into kind of the forecast for this upcoming weekend, right? So this is the uh, webcam at Crystal showing that it's snowing currently. Awesome news. Um, we can see that uh, most of the Cascades are currently under a winter weather advisory for anywhere just from six to 15 inches of snowfall. Um, National Weather Service was predicting less snow kind of to the north uh, and out towards the Olympics and more snow down towards the south. Um, Baker's actually already picked up significantly more than this, um, so they a little bit undershot there, but uh, definitely kind of refreshing that, and that's why we're starting to see that those totals tick up again, which is really, really nice. Um, in terms of, yeah, just this winter weather advisory, 3,000 feet snow level roughly um and uh, we can see that as we go forward through the day so this is looking through the day on thursday and we're moving forward um kind of that two to three thousand foot snow level uh we might see this characteristic impact of the puget sound convergence zone over us2 right here building up this is uh, overnight tonight uh and into tomorrow and kind of snow totals similar like six to ten inches maybe a little bit more in that Puget Sound convergent zone. Friday is actually going to be a pretty nice day uh, throughout the area. Um, we might see uh, some sun breaks. It's going to be the best day of the weekend um, because then we're going to have another storm system moving in and so you can see that this is showing kind of clouds in the area and uh, it's kind of sunny. You might see this Puget Sound convergent zone, but uh, if you can get up into the mountains, especially the east side or out towards, this, towards the Olympics, it might be pretty good. Um, then going back to our snowfall forecast, you can see this next system rolls in on Saturday, especially kind of in the early morning to afternoon on Saturday. There's a slight chance that we might see some snow down to close to sea level, but it's unlikely. Some of the models are showing that, but it's probably going to be snow levels closer to 500 to 1,000 feet. Um, 
but that will mean that we're uh, get snow like all the way down to the uh, pretty low foothills. You can see it kind of building up in this uh, the Issaquah Alps area out towards the Chuckanuts. Um, unfortunately, what's going to happen is this is an atmospheric river. Um, it's not going to be nearly as warm as the previous one, but we're going to see snow levels bump up to that four, five, six thousand foot range by late in the day Saturday into Sunday meaning that the snow that does fall, and it looks like a pretty healthy heaping of snow, especially in the high elevations, like two to three feet, maybe even four feet in some areas, um, will be just in kind of those highest elevations though. Total precipitation over the area is gonna be once again wet. So, you know, no rest for the wary, but um, it looks like after this, we might start to dry out. Um, this is just highlighting the snow level forecast. So we can see this is for the North Cascades, but. 3,000 feet today, 2,000 feet tonight, and then dropping down to 1,500 feet and eventually 500 feet Saturday morning before going up to 5,000 feet. And we can also see that once again with this graph that we highlighted last week where we drop all the way down on Saturday morning. And then through the day Saturday, we go up above 3,000 feet and then overnight Saturday into Sunday is really when that um, we see kind of that five to 6,000 foot range, and we're going to be seeing rain at most of the passes. Um, uh, although some of the like highest kind of ski areas might uh, stay snow. And then one more thing about the winds is that winds will be pretty strong on, uh, on Saturday. So especially as we move into the day, kind of 7 a.m. Uh, to 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday, as that atmosphere river um, moves in. Once again, we're going to see gusts in that 40 to 50 range uh, on the ridge top. So if you decide to go out on Saturday, just be aware that it will be getting stormier as the day progresses, um, especially along those exposed ridge lines. So Mount Baker ski area is looking to open next Wednesday, Thursday. Crystal will be running this weekend and Stevens, I think is trying to open, but I haven't heard anything yet. Okay. So uh, if you're looking to get out into the backcountry, just consider the effects of the recent uh, rainfall. This is a picture of Bagley Lake, which is now like in the Argus Point backcountry. It's a lake on top of ice on top of the lake. So it's kind of like Lakeception here. Um, and the avalanche forecast, you know, currently right now it's moderate. Um, let's look at some foamy pass proper. So going out through Friday, it's still looking as moderate, you know, they're saying look out for wind slabs and stuff. So make sure you check out the, the forecast if you're going out in the backcountry. If you're looking to ski, um, the coverage, just remember, is still relatively thin, you know, especially below 4,000 feet and on more south facing solar aspects. So, you know, I would be looking for north facing terrain, terrain that's more sheltered from the wind and higher elevations. And I definitely think that Saturday is the better day than Sunday. Uh, it's going to be warm and wet and pretty nasty probably out there on Sunday. Cool. And then one last look, uh, kind of interesting. I mean, if you've been outside in the last day or two, you might have noticed it's a bit wet out there. Um, and we definitely are eliminating the drought that we were in recently. So we are now just in like a uh, pretty minor drought uh, in the area. And I wouldn't be surprised. This only goes up through Tuesday morning. I wouldn't be shocked if by the next um, update, we're almost completely out of drought, which is great news. Um, and looking forward towards the future, um, there's not really a clear sign heading either way. Um, doesn't look like we're going to have any extended stormy periods coming up, at least in the next week after this weekend. Um, so not a ton of mountain snow, but uh, also doesn't look incredibly uh, warm or dry either. So pretty, pretty close to um, what's called climo or pretty close to average, looks like. Well, thank you to everyone for listening. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe to our channel for more videos, and we hope you have a great weekend.